Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019. My name is Matt Hultquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, I wanna go through when you should enter a bill in QuickBooks Online and when you shouldn't, okay? Um, I did a, a video similar to this with QuickBooks Desktop, uh, but it's just, the layout is so much different in QuickBooks Online. I wanted to show it uh, to you in QuickBooks Online as well, okay? All right, so in QuickBooks, uh, you're gonna, when you have to enter your transactions, all right, and, and I'll get to this when I say enter your transactions because most people are gonna use the bank feed and a lot of their you know expenses from their checking account are gonna come in that way. And so I wanna show you how to match that up here in a minute. Uh, but in general, people get confused in, you know, do I enter an expense and go here in QuickBooks Online or do I enter a bill, okay, which you can do from the Quick Create menu up here and click Bill. All right, and what's the difference between the two? All right, so you're gonna enter a bill when you physically get a bill from a vendor and it's paid at a later date, okay? This is something that you have time, they give you you know, two weeks, a month, whatever it is, there's a due date for this bill. That's when you're gonna go up here and say bill. Now you can also do that by clicking on expenses over here and you can go to new transaction and click bill. But that gets a little confusing to say expenses, okay, when you go up here and just say add bill. So if we say add a bill, and you may get this, you know, in the mail, you may get it electronically, you may get, you know, an e-bill an e through your online banking, you may get an email, whatever that, you know, that's just a form of delivery, you're getting this bill and you owe it to a vendor and you have to pay it later on. Okay, so when that's the case and you have to pay it at a later date, you're gonna go here and enter a bill. So you're gonna go through and you're gonna say, you know, books by Bessie, bill date 21, due date 216. Uh, you're gonna put in the account, you're gonna put in the amount, you know, if it's billable and it goes to a customer, you can put that in there as well. And then you're gonna save and close, okay? And then you're gonna go to the pay bills function and you're gonna pay that bill, okay? So the difference now between just entering an expense, okay, in QuickBooks Online, the way they, the way they say this, is an expense is gonna be something that you're spending immediately. You don't get a bill, you don't owe it later on, you spent that money right now, okay? So as an example, uh, and you'll see some examples here under expenses, a credit card expense, and it, you know, it even puts in bills. So it kind of lumps all of these transactions under these expense transactions. Okay, uh, credit cards, cash, uh, you know, it's got purchase orders, estimates, all this stuff here. So this can get a little bit confusing. So to enter an expense transaction, this is gonna, you know, as an example, you'll go to the office supply store, let's say Office Depot, uh, you're buying $100 of supplies and you use your debit card, put in your PIN number, bam, it comes right out of your checking account. That's going to be a typical expense transaction that you're going to enter. All right. Now, to do that, you're, you can go to new transaction. You can click expense. Okay. You can put in, uh, and I'll just give you a quick example here. Let's say that this is you know, Hicks Hardware, you went and bought some supplies. Uh, even though this was a debit card, you can add a new payment method. Um, I'll typically just say check because I will put, you know, EFT uh, or debit to signify that this was a debit card transaction. Uh, we're gonna say job materials. And we're gonna say it was 215.66, okay? So when I do this and hit save and close, this immediately is gonna come out of my checking account. This is not something that's gonna be paid later like a bill, all right? Okay, so that's how you're gonna manually go in and do it. But typically most people are gonna use their bank feeds, okay? So two things with bank feeds. Uh, one, you know, if you go and you use a debit card, you know, most times you can just let it run through your bank feed. You don't have to go and enter the expense like I just did. Okay, you can let it come in through your bank feed if you're using those. And when it comes through, you can just go, you know, categorize it, add it to your check register. All right, so that's a simple way to do that. Uh, if you do enter it and then have it come through your bank feed, you should be able to match it. Okay, you're gonna have to match it to what you entered. And you'll see here in QuickBooks Online where it matches 
you know, this 22875 was a check, it matched it in QuickBooks. Okay, and it's the same thing with a bill. Okay, so you can see right here, for example, this was a bill payment that we did in QuickBooks, and then it came through on the uh, bank feed, 11409, and it matched it. Okay, this is very, very, very important as you need to match these to what you have recorded in QuickBooks already. Okay, and you need to make sure it's the same transaction. Okay, because a lot of times QuickBooks will just look for the amount. Okay, and it'll say, okay, well, this was $114.09, and it, we see there was a bill payment in QuickBooks Online, so we're matching it to that. So the bank feed comes in independently of what you recorded in QuickBooks. We're matching it. Is this it? If it is, click match. Okay, here's where you can run into trouble is, let's say, you know, it's a common amount. Let's say it was 50 bucks or 100 bucks or, you know, whatever, some round amount. Well, if there was another expense that was 11409 or there was, you know, or 75 or whatever the case may be, it's going to match it to whatever it sees in there, but there could be three or four different matches. So you want to make sure that it matches to the correct transaction. And the way you do that, you click on it, it says match, you can go to find other records. And, you know, this is an odd amount. There are no other records, but if there are other amounts that match that, then it's going to list them here. So you want to make sure that you match them up to the correct transaction. Okay. So I'm going to yeah, close that without saving. We're going to say, yeah, that was a match and you're going to match that. Okay. So hopefully this uh, video will give you a little idea of, you know, when to enter a bill in QuickBooks online and when to uh, just enter an expense and then taking it one step further and making sure that your bank feed matches the transactions in QuickBooks. Very, very, very important because if, if you don't match those correctly, you can end up doubling expenses in your financial statements, which is not a good thing. All right, any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below uh, um, the video. Um, you know, also, hey, join us over at QuickBooks University. You know, when you become a member, becoming a member simply means you purchase the training tutorials, which show you everything about QuickBooks you need to know and allows you to, to join our private Facebook group and forum and email and ask me questions about your situation. Because everybody's situation is different. You're going to run into something you don't know the answer to, and it's a quick and easy way to get answers to your questions. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.